All right, so we're back today, and this is a request about volume and intensity. All right, so we throw, here in the fitness world, we throw a lot of uh, terms around, whether it be max effort, dynamic effort, volume, intensity, but what does all this really mean? So today I'm gonna try my best to cover volume and intensity. So a lot of people talk about high volume, low volume, the higher the volume, the lower the intensity, the lower the volume, the higher the intensity. So today we're gonna break it down, at the whiteboard and figure out what in the world does any of this mean. So volume equals force times the repetitions performed. So my example here is if an athlete squats 225 for five sets and for five reps, the amount of volume and work that he put in would be 5,625 pounds. So you gotta always take in to a fact that um, how much volume is based on what you did for that day. Intensity, on the other hand, is equivalent to power, in which is going to be force times distance over time. So, example, athlete A, he squats 225 for one rep, but he does it in two set for uh, takes him two seconds to do that rep. His uh, um, intensity slash power output is going to be 125 foot per pound per second. And athlete B, he squats 225, but it only takes him one second. And his is obviously going to be 225 per second. So it, what we're getting out of this is athlete A, his power output, his intensity level is going to be lower than athlete B's, which in turn means that uh, the lower the volume, the lower the intensity, the higher your volume would be. The higher your intensity, the lower your volume would be. So it just kind of reverts back to our CNS. So if athlete A, if it takes him two seconds, it's gonna, his, his intensity is gonna be lower than athlete B. So I've got a little chart over here, it's a volume table. So we have our, this is sets per muscle and we have our volume. So if you're looking at 35 plus sets, in the gym, you're looking at ultra high volume. That's just, it's up there. 25 to 34, you're looking at high volume. So people who talk about they're doing high volume in the gym, they're in the 25 to 34 sets range. Sets, not reps, sets. Medium volume is gonna be 15 to 24, and low volume is five to 14. So what does that even mean? So you go into the gym and say it's squat day or leg day, for example. You start out with five sets of five. Five sets, you're starting here. Then you might add in four more sets of lunges. So now you're at eight. Then you might add in three sets of leg press, um, leg extensions, um, you know, hamstring curls, whatever it may be, you might be adding in for sets. You're coming up to the medium, and then you're coming up to the high volume. The more sets you do, the higher volume. Now, with that in turn, the lower the volume, the higher the intensity can be. So for example, if I go into the gym and I wanna hit um, a three by three, three sets, I can rank, I can just ramp up my intensity. But if I'm looking at doing something more dynamic, like a uh, 10 sets, I'm, my intensity is gonna be pretty low because I know I'm gonna have something else to do. I'm gonna be looking at this medium volume and higher volume. So higher volume and medium volume, you're going to be looking at a lower intensity than you are, I mean, a higher intensity than you are low volume. And we, if you go back to Pendleton's chart, then you can see where your percentages will, will lie. So we come over here, I have it set up to, we have one to three reps per set. Now we're talking about reps. So um, like we're over here, we have the actual sets in the volume table. Now we can talk about the reps over here in those sets. So one to three reps per set, this is gonna to equate to a stronger CNS activation and motor and muscular recruitment. What does that mean? That means maxing out or you're doing a triple, it's gonna tax your CNS, all right? That's, that's the, this is testing strength right here. That's that 80 to 90% or even 90 plus percent especially when you're doing triples and singles. Three to, set, three to seven reps per set, this maxes, this maximizes myofibril hypertrophy 
for an increase in muscular density and volume. What in the world does that mean? All that means is you're increasing your volume. This is where that three to seven set rep range, you're looking at when you're doing 10 sets or if you're doing five sets, five to 10 sets, you're staying in the three to seven because that way you can increase your volume and stay in a good myofibril hypertrophy. Eight to 12 reps, this is sarcoplasmic hypertrophy and that's where body has to maximize its energy systems. All that means is these are the more the bodybuilding type things. These are where people will try to expand their muscles, get them big. So you're looking at more of a three sets, five sets, five sets of 10, three sets of 10, four sets of eight, stuff like that. Anything over 12 reps, which is not on the board, you're going over hypertrophy. It's not really helping hypertrophy, but it does help muscular endurance. So with that being said, just remember high volume equals lower intensity and the higher the intensity is lower volume. You can't have, you really can't have them both. You can play around with them, but that's just refer to Pillipin's chart based on that and you know, everything will be good.